Hi, my name is Katie DeRogers. I'm the Music and Art K-12 Academic Leader here in Bolton. Welcome to our portion of the program this evening. We very much look forward to sharing with you some of what we do in the classroom that supports the growth and development of our students in Bolton through music. We also look forward to the future when you can join us for our music events in person. In addition to serving as the Music and Art Academic Leader, I also teach high school band, percussion, jazz band, music technology one and two, and advanced placement music theory. In AP Music Theory, students study the basic elements and processes of music through multiple perspectives, including visual and oral analysis, composition, performance, and the development of oral skills. Here, students are conducting and error detecting performances of their own rhythmic compositions from the end of our rhythm and meter unit. The BHS concert band meets in three separate periods. Two of them, periods D and A, are only for wind instruments. Percussion has its own class, period B, to focus on the many instruments percussionists must master in order to play in a band. The three classes combine for full band rehearsals during our concert preparation cycle. It's really exciting to hear the groups come together to determine our balance and see what we need to continue to work on as a group. Students learn basic music concepts through the use of digital music technology and computer workstations. They use a DAW, or digital audio workstation, to create, compose, record, edit, and mix music. This project is a student remix project. The student used portions of a song, editing them to their liking, and then added their own creations to compose a new piece of music using the original. Hi, my name is Mary Dombrowskis and I teach general music pre-K through eight and fourth and fifth grade chorus. This is the first year the preschool students are receiving formal music instruction. They have music twice a week for 20 minutes each time. At this young age, we work to both teach and reinforce the most basic music skills, including keeping a steady beat, echo singing, and gross and fine motor motions using instruments and dance. Kindergarten and first grade students focus on becoming tuneful, beatful, and artful musicians. Each class, we work on these foundational skills through beat keeping activities, simple songs and echo songs, chants, and movement exploration. Students also get to explore using different classroom percussion instruments, such as wiros, shakers, wood blocks, sandpaper blocks, and drums.
second and third grade students build off of their foundational tuneful, beatful, and artful skills and start working on more complex musical ideas. Second graders begin our music literacy program, Conversational Solfege, which teaches students how to say, read, and write music in the same way we learn language, through rote learning, echo and repetition, copying to write, and finally creating their own music. Second graders learn about world music during the third trimester. Third graders start to explore two-part music and singing simple harmony and expand into other music concepts such as learning about jazz and folk dancing. Third graders start instrumental instruction during the third trimester this year for the first time learning the ukulele. Fourth and fifth grade chorus students are experiencing large group singing for the first time since spring of 2020. Students are working on basic vocal technique including breathing and diction, and working on simple song structures such as unison singing, rounds, and canons. These students also learned a song for the BCS Veterans Day celebration. Seventh and eighth grade music survey allows students to learn about and experience music in a non-performance-based class. Seventh graders learn about the basic elements of music such as rhythm, melody, and harmony, do a study of musical instruments and genres, learn how American music has grown and developed over the past century, musical theater, copyrighted music, music careers, and ukulele in the third trimester. Eighth graders explore music on a worldwide scale by looking at and listening to music of cultures from Australia, Africa, Asia, and Native America. The second half of the year is spent learning guitar. Hi, I'm Jason B. I teach band at BCS, grades four through eight. My name is Dan Eyre. I teach grades 6 through 12 choral music and guitar, and I'm excited to share with you what my students have been working on so far this year. Students in middle school chorus learn vocal technique and musicianship by singing songs from a variety of styles and genres. We transition from unison singing into two-part harmony. Students have opportunities to select music for the chorus to rehearse and perform that matches their interests.
As students grow more confident in their musical skills, we do more a cappella or unaccompanied singing. Students may assume leadership roles as conductors or soloists. In high school concert choir, students have even more opportunities for self-directed learning and musical development. For this project, called My Music Monday, groups of students created, rehearsed, and performed their own arrangements of popular songs. In this project, each singer had to learn and perform a separate harmony part, while a fourth student accompanied on piano. Since we did not prepare a fall or winter concert this year due to COVID, we focused instead on more individual vocal technique and musicianship. Each student in concert choir learned and performed a classical Italian aria during class. The first unit in guitar performance one is rhythm guitar. Students learned to play 14 open position chords, and they applied their skills in this final project in which every student composed an original instrumental song and taught it to the rest of the class. From the Bolton Music Department, thank you to the Board of Education and the community for all of your continued support. We can't wait to share more music with you soon.